This thing I'm holding with the bike was my house for two months or so. Inside there is a bedroom with a double bed, a kitchen, actually two kitchens, a living room, dining room, an office and even a balcony. It's not completely done yet, but it's good enough to start a trip around the world I guess. The initial idea was to buy a large truck. I could even fit a motorcycle on it. Then I realized that on my budget I could barely afford an old van. Which is not bad. Lots of people make good tiny homes out of VW buses. I was already looking for one to buy, but then the brilliant idea. Instead of carrying a motorcycle on the trailer, why not carry the trailer on a motorcycle? safest solution, or the most comfortable, or even the most affordable, but at least I got to keep my bike. A few days into initial itinerary planning though, I realized I would lose too much traveling on a motorcycle. The problem is that Brazilian roads are crappy, but as I want to keep it close to the shore, that problem would be even worse. I would lose the opportunity to visit many places just because I wouldn't be able to reach them. I could give up on the trailer instead and sleep in a tent, but then it would be really hard to carry all the equipment including surfing and kite surfing stuff. Not reaching places was not the biggest issue. When needing parts, Harley Davidson sometimes would ask me to wait up to 60 days for a replacement. What if I needed parts in the middle of a desert? This will break my heart, but Brazilian Harley Davidson gave me no choice but to give up on the bike. I needed a vehicle that would be easy to repair, that could go on most roads, preferably with some off-road capabilities. It also needed to be cheap to buy and cheap to keep, and I used to have a car that was exactly like that. This thing tried to kill me a few times. It started catching fire once. There was this other time when the brake pedal was gone and I had to keep going using the e-brake. Or even that one time that I ended up holding the steering wheel that wasn't attached to the car anymore. For sure I wouldn't lose too much of the danger factor I had with the bike. Besides that, no other car has even given me so much fun.
problem was a barra bug was one of the things I have sold to do the trip on the bike, so I would have to find another one. <laughs>